Today through this video we are going to learn about VMR relay. This equipment which you can see here or this device here is known as VMR. Full form of VMR is voltage monitoring relay. We also call this as phase failure relay. We use this relay at a place where voltage supplied to the device must not be high or must not be low. When voltage is high then in this condition power supply must not go to the device for this we use this type of relay. What this relay will do it will break the power supply of circuit. This VMR relay provides total four types of protection. First is under voltage, second over voltage, after this phase sequence, after this fourth is if there is unbalance in voltage that is in three phase power supply if there is some kind of unbalance. In one phase voltage is high and in other phase voltage is low. In this way if unbalance is there then in this condition this relay will sense it and it will break the circuit. It will not let power supply to flow further. In this relay you can see three indications are there. Among these first indication tells us that power supply is on. It shows this relay is in healthy condition or we can say three phase power supply is in okay condition. After this if this indication is glowing then this indication lamp glows in two condition. First is if voltage is unbalanced then this indication glows. After this if phase sequence is changed then also same indication lamp will glow. But in second condition LED lamp will blink. So if this LED lamp is blinking then it means that phase sequence is changed. After this this LED will glow in under voltage and over voltage condition. If relay operates on under voltage then in this condition this LED will glow continuously. But if there is over voltage then in this condition this LED will blink. Now you can see here a button is given. Through this button we can reset. By pressing this button we can set program and through this only we can reset. After this you can see four rotary switch are given. Through this switch what we do we do some setting. We have to rotate this switch like this and we can do setting. This rotary switch at the bottom this is for over voltage. If we want to select 400 volt here then we have to rotate this rotary switch and pointer here bring this pointer to 400 volt and set this here in this way. So in this way we select 400 volt in this. If in R by B phase voltage becomes 400 volt then in this condition relay will trip the circuit. In this switch from 400 to 520 volt range is given. So we can do setting in between this range. After this this knob you can see here this is for under voltage. The range of this is from 285 to 425 volt. It means for under volt we can do setting from 285 volt to 425 volt. After this this knob here through this knob we can set unbalanced voltage. That is we can set percentage through this knob that on how much percent unbalancing relay must operate. Here from 2% to 20% range is given. If we can set unbalanced voltage in between 2% to 20% and if unbalanced voltage crosses the limit of percentage we set here then in this condition relay will operate and it will break the circuit so that power supply cannot flow further. After this through this knob we can set time. It means when relay operates then after how much time we want this circuit to break this setting is done through this knob. Range of this is given from 1 second to 10 seconds. By rotating this knob we can set this time in seconds. If any tripping is there then relay will wait for this program time. If power supply gets normal within this time then circuit will not break. But if problem is not solved then in this condition when program time is completed circuit will break. Now in this relay you will find total 12 terminals. It starts from here 1 to 6 number terminals are here and from 7 to 12 number terminals are given here. Now how to do connection here let's understand. Look for connection diagram is already there. By going through this diagram you can do the connection easily. You can see one number terminal here at one number terminal we have to connect R phase. After this at 3 number terminal here L2 power supply that is Y phase power supply we have to connect. And at 5 number terminal we have to connect B phase that is L3. As you can see at the terminal side at this 1 number terminal we will connect R phase at 3 number terminal Y phase and at 5 number terminal we will connect B phase. Now in this VMR there are two relay. As you can see contact of this is shown here. Here 7 number terminal which is there is our common terminal. After this 8 number terminal is NO and 9 number terminal is NC. Similarly 10 number terminal of second relay is common, 11 number terminal is NO and 12 number terminal is NC. 
here you can see this is our seven number terminal this is common terminal after this eight number terminal is no and nine number terminal is nc now in this relay which contact we should use normally we use no contact in circuit that is eight number terminal and eleven number terminal but according to your logic you can use nc contact also friends if you want to learn how to do connection of vmr relay and how we use this in dol starter then i already made a video of this i provided the link of video in description on clicking that link you can watch that video now where we use this relay let's see this also see we use this type of relay at a place where we need to monitor voltage if there is any equipment to which we can't provide high voltage or low voltage if phase sequence get changed then in this condition we want to break circuit then we use this type of relay there friends suppose you have a motor we provide power supply to motor through a contactor now we don't want to give high voltage to motor or low voltage to motor and if phase sequence here is somehow changes then power supply must not go to motor then for all these protection we use this type of relay so friends i tried to tell you some basic things about this vmr relay if you want more information about vmr relay then you can ask me by commenting in comment box friends i hope you like this video if you like this video then do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video